Okay, I might proceed. I might introduce me. Solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. When I was in law school, I'd stay home and I'd study all day long. I'd study until my head was dizzy. And then I'd take a break and I'd walk to a hallway. There was, there was a mirror there. And I'd look into that mirror and I pretended to be making my closing arguments to a courtroom, to a jury. And I think that was when I decided that I had to work inside of a courtroom. I wasn't going to be happy working behind a desk drafting contracts or wills. Although I became an attorney because I was an estate planner and I thought I was going to do a lot of wills and trusts and things like that. But in my second year of law school, I took my criminal law class. And I was number one in my class. When I opened up the books, at first nothing really made sense to me. But slowly it's become all that I thought about that semester. And every time I opened up the book, I'd look at the case and I'd say, how are we going to get this guy off? How are we going to help him? Out there, there are defendants that need your help. There are communities that need justice. And there are victims that need a voice. But if you turn your back on your ideal, on your conscience, you won't be there when tragedy strikes. You won't be there to ensure justice is done. And instead, injustice will be done. And that injustice will chip away at this profession that we hope to enter. If you're going to be a criminal defense attorney, I think it's almost got to be genetic. It's got to be inside of you. I have a compulsion. I can't help myself. When people are in trouble in the criminal system, cops are speaking to them and they're being prosecuted, I'm compelled. I, I have to help those people out. And that I will faithfully discharge, and I will faithfully discharge, the duties of an attorney and counselor at law, the duties of an attorney and counselor at law, to the best of my knowledge and ability, to the best of my knowledge and ability. Congratulations. You're now a lawyer. <laughs>